Now, can the new Republican Congress restore parental rights in the schools? It's an important question. Let's ask Congresswoman Virginia Fox, who is the new chair of the Education and Workforce Committee. Virginia Fox, welcome back to the show. Before I get to parents, Thank you, Larry. before I get, I want to just ask you: uh, the Bidens have a new income-based scheme for the student loan write-offs, the student loan uh, giveaways, and it's going to, you know, the estimates are six hundred billion dollars. And is there some way you could get this stuff out of the education department, which is not, you know, is, is not equipped to be a banker? I mean, I guess that's one part of the problem. Larry, nothing would please me more than to stop the federal government from being one of the largest banks in the world. We need to do that. We have no business doing it. This was done when Obamacare was passed in order to come up with the money to justify Obamacare. And we need to get rid of it, but we have not been able to. But you're right, the education department has no business being a big bank. And by the way, on their scheme on this IDR uh, that they want to do, there are many, many students who get by with never having paid anything back on their loans. A lot of them already have. And this is all on the backs of taxpayers, many of whom didn't want to go to college or went to college and paid for their college. It's really a horrible scheme on the American people. Is there anything you think you could do as the new chair? Well, what we're hoping is that uh, the Supreme Court will rule against it, um, but they ought not to be able to do any of this while the case is under review in the Supreme Court. They've had to stop with the repayments, and they shouldn't be able to do anything right now. We, will, we have a bill already called the Real Reforms Act, which would keep this from happening in the future. It's going to be a matter of getting that bill passed in the House and Senate and getting President Biden to sign it. But we have the bill already. Is there any way now, looking down the road, that you can make the case as committee chair that parents are really not domestic terrorists and that they have a right to influence their kids' education? Is there any way you can hold hearings, you know, bring in people to think they're terrorists and try to talk them out of it? That, that's going to be one of our top priorities, Larry, the Parents' Bill of Rights. We introduced the bill already this session, this last session, but we will have it, be, it'll be probably our first hearing. Uh, it will be on the Parents' Bill of Rights, and I think it'll be the first bill that will come out of our committee and come to the floor. You can see already that we're moving very, very quickly. There were some bills that were put into the um, um, uh, uh, rules bill that were brought by uh, leader Speaker McCarthy to have uh, immediately this week. That was a pledge he made. We've also made a pledge on the Parents' Bill of Rights. Obviously, parents are not domestic terrorists. They have a right to have a say in their children's education. And we're going to do everything we can to restore those rights. The teachers' unions have tried to take those rights away from parents. We're not going to let that happen. And last one, Virginia Fox. Um... Can you help in the campaign to restore workfare, work requirements, the dignity of work? I mean, your committee is now called the Education and Workforce Committee. You know, work is opportunity. Welfare is a dead end. And um, to me, this is such a very important... You know, this is an issue for the economy, ma'am, but this is just an issue for the heart and soul of America. Absolutely. We'll be working with other committees on this. We can't do it alone in our committee, but we can do it in other committees. And uh, Larry, you're so right. I made a speech on the floor today about God put Adam and Eve in, the, in Eden to, and he gave them work to do. Work is inherently dignifying. It is the right thing to do. You're exactly right. Welfare is a dead end. Work brings dignity to human beings. It's fulfilling to people. And we absolutely need to do that. We must bring back work requirements for any kind of assistance that people are getting. We are we're putting people in a terrible position by making them dependent on the government. It's a bad situation. Well, congratulations on your committee chair and um, Thank good you, luck sir. on the agenda. Great luck on the agenda. Thank you. Virginia Fox. I want to talk with you more. Thank you.